Hi, I've got your plan open in my copy of Home Designer Pro 2019. Uh, whenever I check over a plan by a newer user, first thing I do is go to Edit Default Settings. Well, I guess I should, the first thing would be to find out what you've got it set to in terms of ceiling height. Boy, am I ever not a metric person. I have no idea what that is, what that represents, but it's 2587. Let's see if it's, you've got it consistently set here, 2587, yep, okay. Okay, all of those that I checked had the same setting. Let's see if it agrees with what's in edit default settings, uh, floors and rooms, current floor, edit. And this section might look a little different in uh, Home Designer Pro 2016, but okay. So your model's following defaults and your defaults agree with it's a common mistake new users make, so that's the first thing I check for. I'm going to check this floor. You got 500 millimeters as the default. Okay. Let's see what edit default settings says for this floor. millimeters very good okay now you can't add an, another floor without creating a floor so you, you don't have a floor up here this is the attic and it's not for building purposes and if you were trying to do that in the attic well the software is not programmed to operate that way so what you have to do <clears throat> let me do look at the overview and see what we have here before I launch into anything else. Okay, this is not important. It just means that you use some materials that, don't, that aren't on my computer. No big deal. Okay, you got a series of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, gable roofs. Now you can't build a second floor on top of a gable roof. <laughs> That's another thing. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the build menu and floor, build new floor. And it'll, it's programmed to build it above the floor that you're on when you select this command, left click. And I don't want it to derive, uh, like Eric said, I'm just going to manually draw the wall. So I'm going to check make new blank plan for the second floor. And, uh, I don't know what you intended for a ceiling height, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stay with this figure, okay? <clears throat> and that's what it does. Now I've got a blank second floor. <clears throat> These are automatically generated attic walls, generated by the pre-programming of the software. So I'm gonna turn on the reference display, like Eric said, and there's a, the middle section. <clears throat> but first, I have to go down and, and get rid of these roofs because they would get they would chop off any walls that I drew up here. Now the, the way this looks intermediately, but the, the roof's gone, you know. But this is how you can. This is an automatically generated attic wall. Let me open it, and you can see that it's programmed no room definition, no locate attic wall, and that's. The program just automatically does that sort of thing. It's not significant. Okay, now I'm gonna go uh, Shift F6. That's a Shift key, hold it down, F6. Tile the screen so you can watch this develop. I'm gonna turn off the uh, grid. I never use the plan view grid. There, I got it off, okay. So I'm gonna go back up in this plan view screen to the second floor, which has nothing on it except automatically generated attic wall. 
And um, I'm assuming you're going to use uh, siding on the second floor. So I'm just going to draw the kind of wall you've got there. And I'm going to open it just out of curiosity. Yeah, okay, it's siding. That's fine. I drew it there. I'm going to line it up. Align with the wall below. And draw that. I just drew over a wall that was an automatically generated wall that was there. Not quite sure exactly what you want to do. <clears throat> but you see, there's the walls that I drew. I'm going to move this wall right over next to the edge of that roof. It's already there. And that wall, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just delete it. <clears throat> it's unsightly. Okay. Now we click on this screen and rotate it around. You can see I got the beginnings of a second floor. Now this roof plane here is interfering with this wall. So I'm going to click on the roof plane and pull it back away from the wall. Roof planes are automatically pre-programmed to cut off walls under underneath the uh, edge of their uh, extent. So that, that takes care of that. This is again a, a, an automatically generated wall. It's not important. And oftentimes you can't delete them, but sometimes you can. In this case, I did. Now, once I put the roof on, this edge of this roof here might interfere a little bit. So I'm going to move it over and just align it with the other one. You know, I tried to, didn't go. There it goes. Sometimes it's kind of hard to do in plan uh, camera view. Let me do it in plan view. I'll go down to that. Down to the first floor. And find that sucker. There it is. Ooh, this edge is not straight. I'm going to straighten that edge. When you're working with roofs, you always want the, all the edges plumb. Let's pull it back to there for now. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pull it out back a little bit more and line it up with that other roof plane over there. Yeah, see how that wall popped up? It's no big deal. When I draw roofs over this uh, second floor, it'll be on. So I'm going to go back in the, in a, on the plan view screen. I'm going to turn off the uh, reference display. I don't need it now. We'll go up a floor. And I'm going to go to the roof tool. And left click and drag on, along the outer edge of that wall a roof plane and no one over here and use the join roofs tool to make a ridge and we'll handle the overhang I was, again I'm not a metric person I'm just gonna make it uh, no 30 is too stingy I guess it needs to be about a 300. Yeah, it looks all right. We'll line up the other edges to that other edge. And here we'll drag it out, use the automatic dimension to set it to 300 millimeters. And line this edge up. And then you can start uh, figuring out where your stairs are going to go and uh, whatnot. Now this is not a, a perfect all, you know, nice and finished. If you're having trouble getting the second floor, I sh thought I'd show you how to do the second floor. Now, like this wall here is missing. Let's, I'll take care of that. I'm going to go up to the attic. Oops, I'm sorry, not, not, not on the 3D screen, on the 2D screen. We'll go up to the attic. And, uh, I think I deleted this wall earlier, so I'm going to delete it again. And it should, yeah. See, the program automatically put it back after I deleted it again. I, I've seen that behavior over and over again, so I, I knew kind of what to 
to expect. Go back to the 3D screen. I think that's ready for windows and doors and creating the screens. And you know, when the program doesn't fill in a wall, you just have to fill it in manually by just drawing it. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you. And uh, adios from Texas.